last day of the Dumbbell Only program. And I uh, seem a little sad, actually. This is the last day, but uh, very happy you guys have been joining us in all these videos. And uh, I think we're just gonna get right to it. We're doing shoulders and traps today. We're gonna be starting off with the hang clean press. Now we've done this in the previous phases that we said before. Uh, it was pretty simple. You're gonna be starting in the standing position here. And uh, what you're gonna be doing is uh, flexing in the hips and you're creating that momentum to bring that weight up into this top position here by flipping your grip and then go right into the press here. So you go into the clean, clean, and then press. So it's a pretty uh, dynamic movement. It's pairing up different movements together. Uh, one is going to be kind of like that high row. You're gonna be flipping it um, and then right into the press there. So we're gonna bust these out and uh, get these shoulders pumped up. Now one of the mistakes a lot of people make in the hang clean press is they don't create enough momentum to carry the dumbbells up and clean them into that proper position there. They kind of just do an upright row and then press from there. And what's that gonna do if you just rely on all that upright row here and then press, it's really gonna exhaust the shoulders a lot quicker. You're not utilizing that uh, the hip extension, the flexion and extension there to help getting that weight into the proper position and then pressing from there. Um, and one thing you have to remember too, if you look at the angle here, you're bringing the weight out, then flipping it, is creating that extra movement and actually inhibiting you from getting the full benefit of this exercise. So, as they say, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, and that's what you always gotta remember. So you wanna kinda create that straight line, and then flip, and then press. So, if you follow that dumbbell, the path of the dumbbell, it's a pretty decently straight line. So try not to carry it out too much, because then you're exerting extra energy there we go. So you gotta remember it's that pulling action, flip right into the pushing action. Really create that, as you're pulling it, really bring those elbows nice and high. And then as you flip, drop them down to catch in that clean position, then press from there. So there's a few things as you can see from the form. If you look in the video, it's not only the line of the dumbbell, but it's also the positioning of your arms, and then as the momentum, as you create that momentum with the pull, the push of the hips and the pull of the arms, that momentum as you flip, dumbbells will be weightless for you to flip and catch. As you perfect this movement, as difficult as it can be as far as exerting energy, it'll feel actually very comfortable. So that's one thing in mind. If it feels uncomfortable, discomfort in there, you probably need to kind of check your form and make sure everything's working correctly before you actually move on um, to going heavier. So always keep it light, as we say in many videos, to get that form down, to get that comfortability down. And then as you progress in your knowledge of it and your comfortability of it, that's when you start progressing in weight. So that way you're always safe, injury free, because as a lot of athletes will tell you, it's always injury prevention rather than trying to work through injuries that you've you know, created in the past from not performing things correctly or going too heavy. So there you go, hang clean press, baby. Yeah. Right on to the Scott Press. Now we have done this exercise as well in the pre previous phases. And uh, just to go over some of this, it is less about a press and more about an external rotation with the elevation. Um, now there'll be a little bit of extension in your elbow joint here, but not a lot. So um, this is really concentrating on taking the triceps, uh, the press, the kind of secondary group that is involved in a press out of the equation. It's more of the, uh, just the shoulders and traps that are involved here. So um, I'm just gonna take the dumbbells and get into position. So this is the starting position here. Um, like in a standard, let's say Arnold press, it's gonna be more inward and the palms facing you and you can get a full rotation with the press. But the Scott press now is less of that rotation um, in your wrists, but it's more of the rotation in the shoulder joint, the external rotation there. So you're gonna bring it wide to start out. So you're gonna start here, bring it wide and then elevate your shoulders. So, um, this is depressing, this is elevating here, and you're gonna get a slight extension in the, uh, in the elbows here, and then bring it down. You can see there's kind of almost an arch to the dumbbells, so it's not just bringing it out, then elevating, it's kind of combining the movements and starting to elevate as you have that external rotation there. And as you see too, as the dumbbells come out and you're elevating, your thumbs are gonna be facing down here. So try not to have to keep 
the thumbs here and just elevate here. You're going to kind of elevate through here. It's going to make the movement a little bit more comfortable there. Um, but this is pretty much the movement without the dumbbells is here. Bring it up, elevate. As you can see, kind of shrugging upwards, elevating those shoulders up. You're going to really feel that really good contraction in the traps. Um, and really not going to feel the triceps at all as you would in a normal pressing motion. Um, they will be there to stabilize the movement and again involved in that slight extension of the elbow, but not as much as again like the full press, shoulder press. Oh yeah, the shoulders burn like crazy on those traps as well. So that's the funny thing about any kind of exercise. You really know it's working when you feel it right in the muscle that you're trying to target. Of course, if you start feeling your elbow or your neck, maybe your lats, you gotta kind of rethink what you're doing. Either the weight's too heavy and other muscles are starting to take over to compensate for the muscles that aren't engaged or your form's off. So that's when you have to kind of start to rethink and maybe sometimes, you know, you'll get a friend, they'll work out partner, either watch you, critique you if they know what they're doing or, you know, just videotape yourself, your camera, your phone and uh, kind of check your form to make sure you're doing it properly. That same goes with, like say, a hand clean press or a squat. Um, you know, you see a lot of people doing that actually. But I think it's pretty smart. Because sometimes it's hard to just, you're only seeing that two dimensional image on the, on the mirror. If you're looking at yourself in the mirror, you don't really see anything else that's moving. Um, so yeah, one, keep the weight light, even practice without weight to make sure, because a lot of times you can feel the muscles engage even without weight. You know, if you're contracting them right, if you really have that nice connection to the muscles, uh, but then also keep it light to make sure you're feeling it and you're getting comfortable in that positioning, that form, and then go up from there. So excellent exercise, Scott Press. I highly recommend trying it out um, because if you do have really dominant triceps and you need to build your shoulders up, this is an excellent exercise to really target the shoulders and the traps to not only strengthen them, but also gain a little bit of size in there too to get that nice aesthetic look, the body. Yeah. On to, on to the third exercise, which is gonna be the windmill press. Now, if you're not too familiar with this exercise, um, it is fairly simple. Um, it is a press, but we're gonna add a little twist to it. Um, you're in the standing position, but you really wanna start with a wide, a wide um, stance here. So it's kinda almost that pyramid we talked about in the previous fa phases where it really gives you that nice base of support. Um, and you're gonna be only utilizing one dumbbell, so you get into position, much like a normal press here, and legs straight, flexed, and you're just gonna be pressing it straight up. Now this is the tricky part, so the press is simple, straight up, but then once you reach this position, what you wanna do is take this arm, and you need to be gliding it down this leg, and as you can tell, my shoulder has to move as I bend my body, and the oblique has to really contract to stabilize my spine here. Now you notice my hip is being pushed out this way. If you don't push your hip out, if you're just trying to lean over, it's gonna put a little too much pressure there. So if you push your hip out, that way you want the dumbbell pretty much located in the center of your stance there. So your center of gravity is always in the proper position so you can feel as balanced as possible and as stable as possible here. So we'll replay this in this position. Standard press, push the hip out, glide that arm down, shoulders moving, go down as far as you can. You're gonna feel that nice contraction of the obliques and the shoulder there for stabilization, you wanna lock it out and then you're gonna lift it back to the top position and then back down. So those are the movements. Press, down, up, let it down, and you're gonna repeat. So once you kind of break it down, it's not too difficult as far as what you have to do. It's mainly just certain things to keep in mind. If you have a too, a too narrow of a stance, you're gonna try to push your hip out. It's gonna feel all off balance there because you can't really get that proper positioning there. You're, you know, your knee's gonna kind of bend in. Real wide stance, it's gonna allow you to push that hip out and you're gonna bend over. And you can even look up here if you want to really keep that, make sure that's right center um, in your body there. And then back up and down. Press is definitely a core workout too. That's kind of the point of the windmill press. Getting that shoulder in, but also re-getting those bleaks too. So when you perform this, especially if it's your first time, you'll notice the next day or the day after, you feel those doms set in in, your, in that core and that oblique section especially, because you're getting that nice contraction through here. There you go, the windmill press. We got three more sets. And I think by that time, you feel pretty exhausted. On to the next exercise, or I should say three exercises, because this is going to be a tri-set. 
Uh, it is going to be the front raises first, onto the lateral raises, and then immediately onto the bent over reverse flies. Now these are an isolation movements, all three of them. Uh, focusing on the anterior deltoid, the front here, um, the lateral head here, and then of course the posterior, the rear head of the, the deltoid there. Um, so really trying to hit all three heads of the deltoid all in one go. And we're gonna be bringing down the reps slightly for uh, 10 reps, but it's gonna be 10 reps each exercise, each movement. Uh, so we're gonna do 10 on the front raise, immediately on to 10 on the lateral raise, and then immediately on to 10 on the bent over reverse fly. So any kind of isolation exercise is going to try to target that specific muscle group as much as you can. You know, of course, um, you know, the, the full shoulder, all three muscles are gonna be slightly involved in, in this kind of motion here, but it's just gonna be putting a little bit more stress um, and contraction in uh, the certain head of the muscle. So the front raise, you can feel a little bit more in that, that front portion of the, of the deltoid there. And a uh, thing you have to keep in mind in, in some ways is positioning of your hands too. So if you're raising up here with the palms facing down, um, and if you feel a little bit of a discomfort in that shoulder joint, you can always rotate so your thumbs are facing up. And sometimes what will happen is it'll help open that, that shoulder joint up uh, so that way you don't feel as much impingement there. Um, so it kind of depends on, that's the good thing about the dumbbells, you know, with a barbell, you're constantly either gonna have to do palms facing down, pronated or supinated, but the dumbbells, you can kind of get that nice neutral grip, the palms uh, facing each other, the thumbs up, to help create a little bit more comfort in the movement. Got a little twist in there, just a little extra movement. Feels really good, you can really feel that contraction in the posterior delt. So there you go, the tri set, making these delts pop, baby, that's what we're all about. Oh yeah, ending with weighted crunches. Really just flexing in the spine, as you can see. The weight is held on the chest. It's a very simple exercise, really isolating the abdominals. But that is the last exercise of the dumbbell program. And it feels pretty damn good. Very proud of this program. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys are getting results. Um, please leave comments below of maybe what you want to see in the future and other programs we do. Our other program that we're planning on doing is, is probably going to be primarily based with dumbbells and barbells. Really kind of classic list, real kind of simple, so that way everyone can benefit from it and uh, really everyone can use it too because sometimes it's hard obviously when you include and involve a lot of machines or cables. Not everyone has that available, so we really try to make these programs to cover uh, everyone, either at home or even at a, a commercial gym. But I do, from the bottom of my heart, and Hudson's as well, want to say thank you guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I know I have. It's always fun doing these programs. Not only getting in shape, but learning a thing or two. And just reading your guys' comments and seeing your guys' progression and, and results as well. So hopefully you'll tune in to the next program. And uh, I guess I'll see you there. So I'm going to sign off here. As always, stay buff. But for now, i got to finish my other two sets of weighted crunches. Oh yeah, no rest for the buffness.